Welcome to part four of the Alpha Project. Not much left of it now. Only joking. A uh, bit of progress. Um, this is what it looked like last week in the engine bay. But this week, we got the uh, the skirts off, and I'm pleased to report no more rust than we've already found. It's just, uh, they're just mucky. Bit of a clean up, they'll be fine. Thank God. Now I'm going to have to replace all these clips and the, these plastic spacer things. They, they're absolutely garbage. The, the screws that went into them were like 8mm headed bolts, but they're actually screws. And obviously they don't want to come out the whole thing turns. It's just a nightmare. But eventually I got them all out. Both sides. I think I think only one of those white plastic things got ripped out in a moment of frustration and anger. Rust around this. I think it's like a big drain hole. It was rust around there. And there's another drain if you uh if you pour water in the top of the front, it, it does come out of there. The floor's good then, which is nice. down there that gap that's where it comes out of those two holes down there trimmed uh, clips and pipe clips off and um, fuel pipes and the brake pipes there waiting to come off still underneath just just two unions to undo there ABS pump is still in Master Sender is still there uh, for now, but it's all good. those are all going to come out, so we can get it all painted up and looking really nice. Now, interestingly, these fuel pipes are completely rotten on the black one, but on the red one they look, you know, really mint. Now, this seam sealant here, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this. Or if it again it's been missed by the robot and has gone too far back. Since it's the same on the other side, just a little bit to the left of that seam. Now unless there's a seam underneath there that I'm not seeing. But I think that's a mistake. And the robots missed it. Maybe the car was going too fast along the production line, I don't know. I'm going to pull them off the black one and have a look under there. These captive nuts, all pretty good condition. Quite pleased about that. Now I'm going to poke around here with the light. It's a bit grotty in there. And luckily, it doesn't go too far down, only just up to that first hole where the side skirt clip goes in. You can see some some sealant back there, which is quite interesting. We'll see more on that later. But yeah, it's not as uh, it's not as rusty as I was expecting in there. I think it will clean up okay once I get this little panel out. So we've taken all that seam sealer out, and we can we can see where the edge is now. I've given it a bit of a tease with a a little chisel, to get it started. But it's impossible to get a, a drill in there to drill them out. 
head on. So I'm just going to be a bit rough with it. But anyway. So where you can see I was rough with it and I got that inside edge out. Nice. You can see that rust on the inner part of the outer sill. Um, it should clean up okay. Here we are at the breaker. Don't judge me on that lifting mechanism. It, it does the job and it gets it high enough. That's all I'm bothered about. So let's get on with taking these bits off that we need. These are the bits I've taken off. That's my new bit. To weld into the red one. And that came off here. I had to cut that bit of sill out to get that off. But what's interesting to see is this is the inside of the sill. And this is where they this is where they start to rust behind here it's a nice bit of sealy stuff in there with some plastic clips in it that's quite quite interesting what those are for I guess this is to stop water from going one way or the other way down the sill. And that's it there. And the other bit I needed to cut out was, was this piece. From that which has come out of there. See, up behind all that really nice seam sealant, you've got this. Unless you're gonna split these layers and take it all apart, you're never gonna get to, to clean this up behind it. A nice bit of brazing in there as well from the factory. Lovely. Right, we best have this wing off then. There's four bolts along this edge one, two, three, and I just cut away before the last one that you can't quite see right under the bonnet edge. And here there is a screw and two 30 Torx bolts. And this one is usually a nightmare. Open the door to reveal this bolt. And the bottom of the door, this bolt. Behind the wing inside, you've got this bit of material. And behind that, there's one last bolt there. Not forgetting that behind the little rubber trim, there's a last little one hidden there. Now I've always found it just as easy to take these two bolts out and just massage the bonnet forward or up or just out of the way to get the bolt that's directly underneath where I'm working there. Couldn't hold the camera and film that at the same time, so there it is out.
And of course, don't forget that one. Really awkward. They tend to be seized in. But this one was pretty good, actually. It came out okay. Top tip time. Get an angled pick or anything small and sharp and give these Torx bolts a good cleaning out. The better you can get your bit in there, the more chance you have of not rounding it off and getting it out okay. I thought this was going to shear, but it didn't. I'd already give them a soaking in some generic penetrating fluid. It came off okay. Get that Phillips screw in that's in there as well, pointlessly. And this is where you find two more Torx bolts. There and there. Last three bolts along the top. And you can just simply pull it away. No easy for anything. Sticking it down, so that's pretty good. Nice welding. So now we've got access to these spot welds. We can get those out. Look at that. Lovely. Oh dear. More rust. Beautiful. And there as well. Great. The lower windscreen trims that usually come adrift. This has had a windscreen in it recently and the uh, the windscreen guys nicely glued those back in. They're a one-shot deal. This knotted wire wheel for the grinder is an amazing tool for taking it off. Rust and anything. It's really good. It reveals our spot welds nicely. I didn't film the drilling out of the spot welds because uh, I couldn't be bothered. So <laughs> there it is. Anyway, I've got that panel out now without too much drama. There wasn't a great deal left really. Look at that. This bit of sealant just fell out with it look. But this hasn't got anything rotten off the bottom. I don't know how good it is. Bit of clean up enough. Just for a laugh. I chucked it in. I say chucked it in. Took a bit of massaging. But you know, it does fit. Whether I can get it to weld in or not is another matter. But I think I will definitely put a hole in it 
with a grommet in so it can be fed some wax oil periodically. But I've got a lot of cleaning up to do first. Now I've given this a clean up with various rotating tools and it's, it's, it's not great in there but I think it will clean up. I can treat it and then uh, it'll be okay. Just astounded why they seam sealed some of it and not other bits. They put some up there where, where two seams join but, but nothing rare at the bottom. And under here the machine's gone round and it, if a human had done that you'd have seen you'd missed a bit and you'd have done it again but a robot doesn't see that it just does what it's programmed to and that's what happens you miss bits and then it rusts so there you can see where the seam sealer was and the metal's nice and clean that's not failed but just here there's spot welds, it, was, it failed under there and there, where it's never had any seam sealant you can see what the result is especially this bit here and it just, it's just, why have they put it there and not there but they put it there it's crazy so when I've cleaned all this up everywhere and cut that piece out welded that new piece in there um, got it all all down to bare metal all cleaned up everywhere all up there the lot it's gonna get some uh, some two-pack epoxy resin um, in there you can see where the, where the sealant's missed completely it's just caught this very corner but not got into the gap so it's all gonna be like new a nice shiny Rosso on the black one this is a real big piece of brazing this one not even attached this area was had a rust spot in it and um, that's actually a weld and the same round there this is all weld there and there so see that a few places around the car But it'll clean up. We'll get it all down to down to bare. Get it nice and clean. Get it all repainted. It's gonna look nice when it's finished. That's be that bit under there. You know. This is the subframe from the black one, which was in pretty good condition when I got it. It's not fantastic. It is a bit thin in places, so it's gonna need replacing, uh, but it'll do for now. So in other news, uh, this manky gearbox needed a good clean. It was filthy. The F40 gearbox that you get in these 2.4s, the, the better gearbox of the uh, of the two that were fitted in the front wheel drives anyway. Minging. Most of that oil's from the engine, I think. Bit of gearbox cleaning. Pretty grubby. It's a good idea to put the shafts in if you can. Stop any water or nasties getting in there. It's not come up great, but I uh, 
I didn't get to use my generic degreasing with a stiff brush. It literally just got jet washed. Um, most, of the, most of the crap off it. This has been a bit of a, a longer episode than usual. 20 minutes rather than 15 minutes. I've got there's so much I've got to get in. I've edited loads out just to try and keep it condensed. I'm not going to try and predict the next episode or what's going to be in the next episode because um, it could be anything. But remember to like it. Remember to subscribe if you're not already, and then you won't miss anything. Especially if you press that little bell button. And now uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>